easiest way to tell these two apart. Nice catch on the kick by O'Neal. O'Neal would love to keep this fight on the ground to neutralize that height advantage that Argerio has. Driving him up against the cage, which is where Argerio said he expected Mike O'Neal to try and take the fight. O'Neal trying to find the single leg takedown. Big elbows now coming to the side of the head of Mike O'Neal. The caveman bully could be in trouble here, but it drives through and, and gets out of that position. So some big elbows, but uh, no ill effects to Mike O'Neal. The ill effect might be right there because Alexi Argerio was taken down and had Mike O'Neill been fully in his wits, I believe he ends up on top on there. So the elbows doing damage in that they get Alexi Argerio this good position as he's working in the half guard. Argerio on top of Mike O'Neill. Trying to find his way out. O'Neal trying to wall walk in, and now there's the pass, now into side control. Although right back into the half guard, Mike O'Neal grabs him back. Again, a, a significant experience advantage for Mike O'Neal here. Big punches, though, from Argerio. When Mike O'Neal can take a beating, he's he's very determined. He doesn't really ever get, uh, get stunned. Even after all those elbows, he was still on his feet. And uh, so Mike O'Neill, a very tough customer, although a big welt on the side of his head from those elbows that he ate from Argerio. Big punches now coming from Argerio too, trying to trap the arm and posture up and keep landing strikes. Argerio looking good here in the early going as Mike O'Neill finds himself on the bottom. Now Argerio teeing off and Mike O'Neill now turning, giving up his back, had to get away from those strikes. Now opened up for a rear naked choke and Argerio is in deep and no quit in caveman bully, but Argerio's got that rear naked choke very deep. Rear naked choke is in, the hand is out and there's the tap. This fight is over. Alexi Argerio, the winner here over Mike O'Neill.